I'm going to work through trying to make something that looks roughly like a bike saddle in uh, Fusion 360 and I'm interested in doing that because it's going to require a new tool. Before when we've been working we've been using things like extrudes and revolves which make uh, linear features and circles. We got as far as sweeps and lofts which can make slightly more complicated things. But these shapes that we're looking at here are really quite complicated. They're made to fit the human body. Um, and so they tend to be made by being formed over something rather than by being cut or extruded or anything like that. And um, we're going to use the Sculpt tool in Fusion, which allows us to make these kinds of um, shapes. And it's sort of equivalent to um, playing around with a piece of clay and stretching it and shaping it. Uh, that's the closest analogy in the physical world. And that means we can make pretty much any shape that we can imagine if we're clever about it. Um, so I've got my usual fusion environment here and where normally I might start a sketch and then somehow turn that into a 3D feature, I'm going to go instead to this create form option. Um, this just tells me I'm entering a new environment and you can see new um, options boxes up here. Click OK. And now we're in the sculpt environment. And what I'm going to do if I go to create, I've got a bunch of different options of things I can make. You can investigate these later. Um, they'll make more sense once you've seen the, the, the basics. I'm just going to start with a box um, because uh, many things are a bit like boxes and I can see how I could turn this box that I'm looking at now into a saddle um, eventually by sort of stretching it and squeezing it. So I'll go with that. Um, I will put it on this plane, which is sort of a flat plane at the bottom of things. I'll specify that the center should be at the origin and I'll, I'm going to make this um, 200 millimeters by 100 millimeters. That's about the size of a saddle. Maybe that's a bit small. Maybe I'll make it 300 by uh, 150. So I'll make that 150 and 300. That might be a bit big for a saddle at the moment. I'm just sort of um, thinking about things uh, quite broadly. I'm going to make it symmetric, um, which means half of it's above the plane I selected and half of it's below. Um, I want to make it so it's about the right height for a saddle. We'll make that 100 millimeters. That seems OK at the moment. Um, and then what I want to do is to start just thinking about some details on this. So you can see now that we've got um, this thing, this option called, uh, well, we specified a length, a width, and a height. Got this option called length faces. If I just change that, make that uh, four, what you can see is we've now got more of these panels on the surface of the object. Um, these panels are what I'm going to be able to stretch and pull around and move. Um, it's not um, something you can specify exactly how many panels or, or bits of the object you want. The more you have, the finer control you'll have. So if, if I make this 10 um, and make this 10, You'll see I can choose to move, uh, when we come to, to move things around later, I'll be able to move a very small part of what I'm dealing with. But things will go a bit slower um, because maybe there's um, there's advantages to moving bigger parts of the object at once. Um, none of this is going to completely limit what we can do. We can change all of this later. Um, so I'm going to say I want... Um, four, four, and two. Let's go with that. And then uh, that is kind of the block I'm going to start from. And I'm going to put in some mirror symmetry as well. And I just need to check. Uh, you can see see these green lines appearing on my object. Um, a bike saddle typically doesn't have that symmetry. Uh, the front, which I'll put here, is going to be narrower than the back, which I'll put here. 
um, so I'm not going to include that symmetry. It doesn't have this symmetry, it tends to look different on the top to how it looks on the bottom, but it does have this symmetry. The left-hand side of a bike saddle and the right-hand side usually match up with each other. So I'm going to select that I want to keep that symmetry and um, I can hit OK. Um, OK, so now I'm ready to start my sculpting. I've got an object and I'm going to sculpt it. And just to show you roughly um, some of the things that we can do, if I click on this piece of the object here, Ah, sorry, uh, I was wondering why it wasn't working. What we're going to do is, is obviously to modify this form now. We've created the form and we move along the, the toolbar, the ribbon bar, so we get to modify. There are lots of things that I could do, um, including inserting edges um, and making more uh, divisions. Um, so you can see that's what I was talking about with how many uh, panels, they're called faces here, um, that we've got. If I wanted to go back to 10 by 10, that's the option I'd use. Um, and we'll come back to some of these things later. Uh, there's a variety of things we can do. But mostly what you're going to do is work with your mouse and you're going, kind of going to push and pull things around. So if I just click on there, you can see this set of options here. And um, I've got a, a group of things I can do, and I'll do them all in turn. I can slide this, this bit around using the sliders. You might want to just play along with this, uh, you know, actually do the things that I'm doing. Um, it'll start to uh, make it feel more intuitive how all of this works. So those are the sliders, they're the arrows. Uh, these three sort of near squares, they say move around on a face. Um, so they kind of give you movement in two directions. The arrows give you movement in one direction. Um, I'm going to cancel all of this later, but what you'll see is now I can pull things down and around, and using this one I can pull things uh, like so. Um, next, I can grow or shrink things. So I can say if I um, choose that one there, then the panel shrinks in that direction. Uh, I can shrink or grow things in that direction. And um, finally, if I, so these ones, uh, let's go back. These ones here um, grow or shrink things in two directions. These ones grow or shrink things in one direction. Uh, you might need to play around with that. I might have got confused about what exactly is growing or shrinking things in which directions. Um, oh no, this is one direction, sorry. Uh, these corners are two directions. You can see it's getting sort of wider in two different ways. And then this middle one actually says grow in every direction or dimension. Um, so that's another option that you've got. And then finally you can twist things. So I can say, all right, twist that over there or uh, twist that in that direction or twist that in that direction. Um, and you can see pretty quickly I can end up with some uh, shapes which would be hard to model using other techniques. Um, the advantage of this is obviously it's the only way I can make this shape. The disadvantage is it's harder I think to be sort of scientific and rigorous and to explain exactly what we're doing. This is the difference between working with um, machine tools like working on a lathe or um, uh, working on a mill where you can specify things very closely or a CNC uh, router. This is much more like um, sculpting, as I said, with a bunch of clay where, or a, a ball of clay where you can make anything but every single version of it is going to be slightly different. It's very hard to repeat exactly the same processes over and over again. Um, so there's a more artistic side to this sculpting might be one way to look at it. I'm going to cancel that um, and in fact try and go back to roughly the original shape. Uh, 
Uh, something like that's the original shape. Um, just a couple more things. If I drag out an area from the right, then anything this box touches uh, will be included. And now I can, um, if I drag out this area and say modify, now I'm modifying that whole area, not just one individual panel. So you can choose two panels, eight panels, however many you want. Um, if I do that, then you'll see I've only got uh, those panels shown at the moment. Or alternatively, I can click on a panel and hold control and select two panels that way and modify them uh, like so. And then uh, also if I click and drag from the left, then I get a slightly, so this is from left to right, a slightly different option where it's only the panels that are completely included um, within the box I've drawn. So if I do that, I should find very few of those panels were completely included. Um, or in fact, if I do that, nothing is included. Whereas if I do that and drag to the right, I get lots of things included. So different ways to choose sets of panels. Uh, dragging from left to right gives you only the ones which are inside the box you've drawn. Dragging from right to left gives you the ones that are touched by the box you've drawn. And as I say, you can also just do it by holding down control. Um, and then the next thing to think about, uh, whenever I've clicked on one of these uh, panels here, it's gone blue, and there's been a yellow panel over there. You probably all noticed that that's because of symmetry, um, that whatever I do here will be mirrored over there. Um, okay, so that's a reasonable start. What I'm going to do next is uh, just think about these four panels here and modifying them and I'm going to bring them in a bit and without wanting to um, blow my own trumpet already that looks significantly more like a bike saddle uh, than it did before uh, so I'll hit OK on that um, I'm pretty happy with what's gone there uh, next I'm going to choose these two which I um, also want to bring in but probably not quite as much uh, so, um, something like that. But then the other thing is it's sort of now shaped so it's um, bulging inwards in a way and I don't like that so maybe I should be able to do something like this. Uh, that looks good. Um, and now I'm just going to bring that bottom bit out and rotate that back a bit. That looks reasonably like a bike saddle. Um, so I'm happy with that. Um, so I can hit uh, OK there. 